Hey guys, I thought that I would talk to you about um, an interesting experience I had a while back doing a wedding before. And it was, okay, <laughs> even talking about it kind of makes me anxious, but um, I know that it might help other people in the future. It definitely made me learn a few things and yeah. So I'm going to talk to you about the wedding that gave me my first panic attack. Um, so I, I normally do weddings. I live on Vancouver Island and I normally do weddings on the island. Um, I probably photograph them maybe four or so times a year. Not too much because I love creative work much more than uh, weddings just because Weddings can end up being pretty stressful. It's it's a long day and you have to provide so many images. Whereas I prefer to work um, a long time on a small number of images that are really creative. But the thing is, weddings are definitely what pay for my equipment um, so that I can do creative work. And you know, weddings can be fun sometimes. I do love being there for their happiest day, or normally happiest day. <laughs> um, so I do definitely uh, accept a wedding gig sometimes. And I've been photographing weddings probably maybe, I don't know, six years or so, I think. Maybe even longer, actually. I think seven years. So, I mean, I thought that I was a, a fairly prepared photographer. Um, but that apparently wasn't the case for this one. So I've never photographed a wedding in Vancouver before, partly because Vancouver scares me. I am such a small city girl, and the idea of being in the big city just stresses me out. But I thought that I would do it for this gig, partly because I, I really needed to invest some money in my gear again. Um, and also it just kind of pays the bills for like food and the usual things. So I, I thought I'd accept this gig and I definitely regret it <laughs> because it was very stressful. So I'm, let me stop avoiding the story. Let me just get into it. So this bride was very easygoing, which is partly why I accepted it. She's very nice, very easygoing, and they're a great couple. And um, so I accepted the gig. And the thing is, they weren't, they didn't seem 100% sure of where they were going to have the ceremony, which um, was okay in the beginning, but as it got close to the wedding day, I, I started to feel a little nervous because I like to plan out my route, figure out where I'm going to go, especially considering I was going to have to take the ferry over to Vancouver and then drive everywhere. So, but she was very easygoing, so I, I, I went with it anyways. So the day of, I took the ferry over with my assistant and we went to the place where they're getting ready. And it was great, it was fun. The, People were awesome, the dress was gorgeous, and it was, we had a great time. It was cool. Um, but then it was time to go to the ceremony location, which, by the way, I still had no idea where we were going. Um, and then so I asked for the um, address because I need to punch it in. I, I, I'm not good at following, like, directions when people are talking out like which street I need to go down for how long and then turn this way blah 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 I I'm always worried that I'll make a wrong turn or something so I I, I need the actual address so I can punch it in um, but they didn't do it that way I asked them if I could follow them because I would feel much more comfortable doing that and they were like no no no, no. We'll, we'll just meet you there and I was like oh dang I definitely would prefer to follow them, but I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue. They're nice people, and it, maybe it will be fine. So they just tell me to look for this park 
They don't give me the address or anything. They just say exactly what I was hoping they wouldn't, which is go along this street for this long and then turn at this spot for about five minutes after that, you'll be going on this road, blah, blah, blah. And it's Vancouver, so it takes forever to get anywhere. Um, but I was like, okay, you know what? Sure, I think I can do that. So uh, my sister and I start driving to the ceremony location. At first, it's great, it's fine. Um, I punch in the, the um, park and it looks like, yeah, it's gonna take us there, it's, it's great. Okay, we'll just follow Siri. Um, and then so after about, I don't know, half an hour, maybe a bit longer, we get to the location. Siri says that we're there. And then so I'm like, okay, cool. I wonder where they are. So I'm in the car at the uh, park um, and I'm, I can't see them. So I call them. I'm like, hey, so where are you guys? And I'm talking to the bridesmaid. And she's like, we're at the park. Where are you? I'm like, I'm also at the park. It um, looks like the entrance is by... A winners. I can't remember the actual store, but I was like, it's right by the winners. She's like, what are you talking about? There is no winners around here. And I'm like, what? what? Yeah, there is. There's just right over here. Um, she's like, no, you must be at the wrong location. I have no idea where you are. Um, so I, I start to panic. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I not at the ceremony location? Am I lost? Where am I? So I punch in a street that she mentions. And then Siri's like, this street is like an hour away. And I'm like, oh my God. At, oh my gosh. I, oh my God. <laughs> I was so freaking scared. I could not believe it. I felt like horrible. Like I'm such a horrible person. I'm like so stupid. Why did I do this? I shouldn't have done it. How did I mess this up? Um, and then so I'm like trying to follow directions and and I'm having a panic attack while driving. I'm mixing up my lefts and rights. My, uh, I'm starting to cry. My vision's going blurry. And it, yeah, hyperventilating, all that. Like, even talking about that, like, <laughs> just rattles me. <laughs> um, and then, so I have my assistant talking to her on the phone, telling us where to go street by street. And so, it turns out we were there. We were just at an entrance that they, they did not know about um, because we ended up getting there in like, I don't know, eight, 10 minutes or so. It ended up not taking that too long to get there. I don't remember, maybe 15, I don't know. I was so rattled, I have no idea. <laughs> but so we get there um, and I am just like recovering from a panic attack. And yeah, then we continue. I take the, uh, the rest of the pictures, we do the ceremony, it's done. And then I'm like, okay, good, the wedding's done. <sighs> the panic attack's over, <laughs> I can move on. Um, and then about a week later, I get an email from them asking if they could get a discount because I was late. But I, I felt like it wasn't my fault because I was actually there. I was just at an entrance that they didn't know about. Um, so I don't know. I, I think I gave him a discount anyways. But I tried to explain to him like I, I was there. It's just the person I was talking to on the phone didn't understand that I was there. Um, and it's, I, I feel like it's not my fault. But... Like I said, I, I gave them a discount anyways, and whatever, it's over. I just, there's no way I'm ever not going to let someone not give me the address of the ceremony until a day of, because that was just too much. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake that I did. Um, yeah, because I definitely tried my hardest to get it from her, but... They just seemed so unsure that they were even going to have it there or what time they were going to have it there. And I found out that we were not the only people that were at the other entrance. I found out afterwards um, that other people were showing up at the same location that I showed up and were confused. So, so many other people ended up showing up late because of it. Anyways... That's my story of the wedding that gave me a panic attack. 
Um, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I am at fault. I don't know. I would also love to hear about your guys' experiences and if you've had like a wedding that really rattled you or that you had a stressful experience. Um, definitely just comment below, please. Tell me your stories. I would love to hear them. I hope that maybe you can learn from my situation. Um, I know that I've definitely learned a few things and will always get the ceremony location, like demand it before so I can plan my route um, ahead of time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening to my, my rant about that. No hard feelings, of course, to the people I did the wedding for. It was just a mishap, a miscommunication, I don't know. So you guys have um, a fantastic day. If you want to add me on Instagram, I am at Sarah Bowen Photography. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.